Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing my self-tanner video, like how I do it and the stuff I use, and everything like that. So if you want to learn how to get tanned and glowing and summer skin thing, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to put my hair up so I don't get self-tanner all over it, and then I also like to put on a tank top so I can get my arms and my chest and stuff like that easily. Okay, so now that you have your tank top on and your hair up, the second step is to put on some moisturizer so your skin isn't as dry and it doesn't, and the self-tanner doesn't stick into your crevices and stuff like that. So this is just Bally Mango by Bath & Body Works, and it's a new one for 2013, and it smells amazing. So what I would just like to do is just moisturize, I guess. So yeah, just put that on. It smells lovely. Amazing. So that's all I do for that section, and then I'm going to go moisturize the rest. I'm only going to do the top of my body because it's winter, and I don't want to waste self tanner on the bottom on my legs and stuff like that, so I'm going to go finish the, I'm going to go finish moisturizing the upper half of my body, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've moisturized my whole upper body, I like to, then now I'm just going to take my self tanner. So this is the Sun Labs self tanning lotion in medium, and that, ooh. That looks really green. That's really gross. But this is my Saint Tropez tanning mitt. And I just got this from Sephora and I got this from Ulta when I was in the States. I don't think you can buy that in Canada though. So, all I do is I take this, take, all oh, my hands are slippery, take like one, two, three pumps maybe. So, around um, that much. I'm going to put this on my arm. I'm just going to rub in circular motions. And I'm going to leave my hands to the last because they use the, like, the least amount of self-tanner. So I'm just going to do a four and a half on one. Mm, yeah, you can kind of see the difference, but, well, this lighting is crap, but... You can layer it as much as you want, and then, so I'll just go do the rest of my body, and I'll show you what it looks like when I come back. Okay, so I've just put self-tanner all over my whole body using the Sun Lab self-tanner, and it looks a little bit blotchy on camera, but I can promise you it honestly does not look like that at all in person. This Pay tanning mitt really does blend it in evenly, and I just dropped it, and it makes it look completely perfect. I don't know. See, look, it looks blotchy there, but it doesn't. Look, it's not like that. I think it's just the camera. I have a little bit of it on my shirt, but that's okay. But yeah, this self-tanner is amazing. Like, I love this stuff so much. Like, it's my whole grail of self-tanners. I've used so many before, and they've all turned me, like, orange, or they just don't last long, or they make, or they just don't dry properly. Like, I've used some of the drugstore ones, like the banana boat one. Oh. Is horrible. Like it's like putting oil on your skin that like just doesn't dissolve and it oh I just did not like it at all. But this stuff it I've already have a shirt on and it's like it sunk in my skin perfectly. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't smell that bad. Well you wouldn't want to walk all day with it on, but it's perfect it's perfectly fine. Like I have school tomorrow and it's seven thirty right now and by the time I wake up tomorrow I'll be a lot darker than this and it will look really natural. You can even tell, like, there. I don't know. It just works amazing. Like, it works wonders, and I love it. And it looks so natural, and looks like I've been going to a tanning bed for, like, ten years. So I have a basket here of, like, gradual tanners, tanning bed tanners, and another spray tan that I do not recommend at all. So, to start off, um, for the tanning bed tanners, I have these ones. I have the Tan to Max Tanning Salon Lotion. I don't know, it's just for indoor tanning. And then the Primal Instinct one. And this one's really good, and so is this one. Um, I find that this one didn't get me as dark as this one, but this one, like, it's still... I'm really pale, so it's hard for me to get dark anyways. But, um, these, these ones are really good. This one has more of a scent than this one does. This one kind of just smells not that good. This one's from Walmart, and then I got this one from the Tanning Salon. So this one's obviously more expensive, and this one's just a lot of bit cheaper. A lot of bit, a little bit. 
and then that's what they look like. And this one's really pretty packaging. It's like cheetah and everything. So those are for indoor tanning. And then I have some other self tanners that I do not recommend at all. Like, just ugh, they're so they might work for you, but at least for me, they did not work at all. This one turned me completely orange. Like horrible. Like blotchy. And I just I didn't even like go out the next day. Like I was just exfoliating like never before. And this is the true blue bronzing self tanning lotion and then this is from Bath and Body Works and the spray tan for this one is actually really good I liked it a lot it just took a little bit more time to get soaked into my skin but this one's pretty good and it does not smell good at all but as you can tell it's really dark oh oh there you go it's really dark but it's not good I did not like it at all Okay, so as you guys know, this is my Holy Grail self tanner. It's the best self tanner I've ever used. There's so many rants and videos on this on YouTube and everything, and it's just amazing. Like it works for all skin types, and I'm really pale, like really pale, and this makes me tanned, not orange. And that's a little bit harder to get if you live in Canada. I got that when I was in the States, and it's lasted me for a long time. So if you guys live in Canada and you need another self tanner, that's good. Um, then I would recommend the Quick Tan. Um, woo, I don't know who it's by. I think it's by Quick Tan, actually. And it's just called the Bronzing Spray in Medium Dark. And I got this at Sally's, I think, for $20 to $27. But it lasts maybe two times. I have maybe, like, an upper body is worth left in this. And I've had this for a while. But it's really good stuff. And it doesn't, does not leave you orange at all. But the only thing is, is that this is a red-based, um self tanner so when you first put it on you have to like you can't put it on and then walk out the door you'll be completely red you'll look like you got burnt by like the sun because you were like sitting on it like it's just it's not good at all like um you have to put this on at night and then wake up in the morning and shower it off and it does have a pretty actually a really bad scent to it so that's that one thing about that self tanner and then I have this one and this one is like a different earth like this one is just horrible like, I hated it so much like it left my skin feeling oily and just disgusting and it's the banana boat summer color self tanning mist airbrush color with a fresh citrus fragrance no it does not have a fresh citrus fragrance it smells disgusting I don't know if I got a defect one but it just smells just like horrible and it says it's supposed to take you three skin shades darker no I did not go three skin shades darker I would say the same but I was oily and I was blotchy Ugh, it was just I do not recommend this one unless banana boat I know that banana boat does have good ones though but uh, 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 not for me and then I have two gradual self tanners and these ones are actually really good um this one is the lay Body Quench Plus Gradual Summer Tanner. And then this one is the St. Tropez Gradual Tan. This one is obviously more expensive, and this one is obviously more cheaper. And um, this I got from Shopper's Dog Mart, and then this I got from uh, what's, Sephora. So, um, yeah. So these ones are really good. I've used, um, Olay has a lot of other gradual tanners for your face and stuff like that, and they're all really good. Um, so I do recommend this one if you're looking for a drugstore one. Um, but then this one I'm also, I would also definitely recommend if you're looking for a more higher quality one and one that will last you a while because I do feel like this one has lasted me a long time and then this one, you kind of go through it a lot more because this one's more pigmented as this one just, you need a little bit more to get the color that you want in the time that you want. So St. Tropez obviously has a good name. Um, they have the self tanning mist or self tanning mist and they have um, the foam stuff, and they're all really good. I've used the whole line, and I have the Saint Tanning, the Saint Tropez Tanning Mitt that I use to put on my Sun Labs tan Tanner, and I swear by this stuff. It's so good, and it's really moisturizing, and it is a white formula, so you obviously it's a gradual tanner, so you don't get um, color payoff. But as you can see, or, well, probably not, but like around the lid, it's gotten like product on it, and it's all dark. And then this one, it's it's also clear. 
and that looks really gross. Ew, I think it has sand in it because I took it to the beach, but I don't use this one anymore because it's empty. But this one, I still have a lot left of it. So, um, those are my gradual tanners that I do recommend. So as you can tell from the beginning of the video, I was really pale, then now I'm getting a lot more color in my skin, and it just gives it gives well it gives me at least a little bit more confidence boost that I want to have. Um, so I love self tanner self tanner. Um, I swear by this stuff. I recommend it to anyone, even if you are like a lot darker, like you do have really tan skin. It's still a lot of like it still gives you color and stuff like that. So. I do recommend it, and I hope you guys liked the video, because these are some of my favorite ones, and I hope you took some information from this video, and you can go out to Sephora, Bath & Body Works, Shoppers Drug Mart, Sally's, Ulta, um, and the tanning salon, and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, so that's my video on self tanner. so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you get some information from this, and I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.